Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Hello, how are you today? It is day 12, project day. I think it's day 12. <laughs> It might be 13 by the time you watch it. Um, I went outside and I clear coated this piece. I wanted to um, make sure the inlays that I did yesterday just stay the way they are. I don't want them to smear when I do the rest of the paint on it. So I did that yesterday with the unicorn spit stain, gel stain. I like that stuff. I don't care for the smell. It reminds me of that nasty, icky air freshener smell. So my whole she shop stank yesterday to me. So I couldn't spend a whole lot of time in here. I don't know what I'm going to work on again today. I think what I'm going to do is stencil a chalkboard and then work on that piece. Because I can stencil the chalkboard really fast and then have uh, time to just work on that which is clearly going to take a little longer after it dries. Clear coat has to dry first because yesterday I was working on it and I wanted to paint around the pieces that I had done and it started to smear and I went stop. <laughs> stop working now because I did not even though it was dry it was still it was like reactivating and smearing and I didn't want the paint that I was painting over it actually have the lighter colors in it. It wasn't so much that it was smearing the the unicorn spit pattern that was on it because it's smeary anyway. It's just kind of got that free-flowing look to it. It was, I wanted a clean um, coat around it. So I'm planning on just having the inlay parts of that jewelry box be that funky pattern and then I'm going to paint the rest of it a dark blue should be super pretty. I hope so. At least in my mind it looks good. Sometimes that doesn't always translate to the actual product or piece that I'm painting. I am going to uh, probably crack out that um, chalkboard. Hang on, let me show you. This is the chalkboard I'm talking about. It says Mom's Kitchen on it. Um, I got it at a thrift store for $3. Somebody initially paid $40 for it. $39.99 for this. I'm not thinking it's worth $39.99. And um, it was shiny black like this when I bought it. I painted it to look more appropriate chalkboardy with chalk paint. Which chalk paint is not chalkboard paint for those of you who think it is. It's not. Um, but my chalk paint gives it a nice matte look like a chalkboard that's been used. So I recoated the whole thing with chalk paint, black chalk paint. Not Annie Sloan's graphite, that's not black. This is a true black. And then uh, I have a stencil that says, today's menu, take it or leave it, because it says mom's kitchen. And then it will say today's menu, take it or leave it. And it'll be a sign that I'm gonna put in the shop to sell. That's my plan at least. And this should be well and dry. I don't know. What is that? Is that my skin? It's my skin. Because um, I don't want the stencil to pull the other paint off. So I'm a little nervous. Because <laughs> it is a self-adhesive stencil. So if it's not completely dry, that when I pull it off, we'll just rip it right off. I painted this two or three days ago. Should be dry. Um, if it's not, then today's project gets a little more involved than I thought it was going to be, and I'm going to be sad. Let's find out. Okay, kudos to my husband for taking something that should be brilliantly easy and making it way more freaking difficult than it needs to be. He cut my stencil, and all I asked for was, today's menu, take it or leave it. 
and then I was trying to figure out what all this extra stuff was. He, puts a, he put a border on it, which means I now have to line it up perfectly. It's not something I excel at. Let's just put it that way. Um, sometimes my stencil, like if I'm stenciling a chalkboard, it looks almost handwritten because it's not perfectly straight. of my convictions y'all let's just do it ever cuts me anything with an outline again we're getting a divorce I took it up not what I wanted anyway so done okay I'm not gonna curse let's get this done on the bright side the amount of times that I had to pull it off to uh, reposition it showed me that uh, that painting coming off there so we're good That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't do um, solid. I wanted it to look like chalk. So when I was stenciling, you saw I was like taking very, very little. This was really dry when I was stenciling. And I wanted it to bleed in certain areas so that it looks like when you're doing hand, hand uh, stenciling with chalk. So I think I did all right. That's pretty good. It looks like chalk. That's what it is. So I think it'll sell. I'm going to go in the shit, get a price tag, go in the shop. I got to get it cleaned up up here, the old price tag off of it and just do some cleanup. But other than that, it's ready to go. This is a project I'm going to start working on too. Sorry about the light reflecting off of it. It is somebody's dad's 1980s craft project. It's cute though. It's like a curio lamp. So let me, let me pull the camera back so you can see the whole thing. So you can see it's a, a lamp that's got a curio base to it. Um, got a light in there as well. And it's got a shelf with a little glass base to it. This is gonna be one of my projects. It has to be completely taped off inside and out because this glass was glued in permanent. And I don't know why I took this thing. Um, a friend of mine works at a nursing home and the Occasionally, they have garage sales of the stuff that when people pass away, um, they, the family doesn't take everything. They didn't take this, so they had a garage sale, and she picked this up for me because she thought I could do something with it, and I think, it, I think it'll be cute. I'm going to give it a coat of primer. i got to tape off all the glass, tape off all the electronics or all the, the light stuff and the light stuff in here that's going to take a long time and then I have to get a primer on it before I can paint it. I mean the painting will probably take a full day so it's going to be a couple days of pieces of this project so it'll be my completed project one of the days but I'm going to start on it today. Visit my blog peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.